In this example, we've used uh, SOLIDWORKS uh, a 3D sketch to position locations for split lines. Um, we've measured our, uh, we're keeping the panels about 56 inches, that way it allows for seam allowance. Uh, we're attaching this to a variable so we can use the same each time. Um, anyhow, the uh, we're going to split up the top panels and, at 56 in intervals, and uh, we'll also do the same for the side panels. Uh, the windshield uh, panels will uh, kind of leave on their own, and uh, you'll see what happens here. So here's our split sketch. I'm going to go to top view, and we'll use a splitting curve to split these faces. Now I've used splines for these uh, split lines. If we need to adjust our seam locations, we can drag these splines, change the shape of them uh, parametrically after uh, we've flattened. And uh, we can just rebuild our patterns and get new flat ones if we need to do that. So here we now have our, our new panel locations. And we'll look at it with edges shown. And we'll use Peace Creator now to divide this up into panels.